Well, it's finally complete. The nine string build, my first guitar I've ever built is done. And I will go over what worked, what didn't work so well, the playability, the sound factors, and how I made it and the tools that I used. Another thing about this guitar I wanna stress is that I made this with just simple handheld tools that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I'll go over that in a minute. So first off, this guitar was made out of mystery wood that was left over from building construction. So right away, this is not a tone wood guitar or anything like that. I'm just showing that it doesn't really matter what the wood you make your guitar out of is. Uh, so I'm using all of my clamps. I'm in the middle of clamping this thing up in this shot. This next shot, the reason why I like this piece of wood so much is that you can see the grain goes with like the curvature of the actual neck itself. So it is a really strong piece of wood when it comes to the grain going the way I want it to. Right there, I almost destroyed the guitar. As you can see, there's some cuts that are very far in, much farther in than they need to be, um, right here. But luckily I salvaged it, it wasn't too far in. Right here I've got uh, everything clamped up and I'm keeping the neck in pl the, uh, the fretboard in place with some little tack nails through the uh, fret slots. Also, you can see that I got these notches cut out the bottom Later, I chipped those little notches out with a mallet and a, a chisel. But before I do that, I install the frets and it was really easy. I just took a nice smooth hammer without any dents in it and very carefully tapped these suckers in. Used some liquid nails glue and uh, worked out really well. And in the next shot you're gonna see is the carve and that was pretty much just all rasping by hand. I got line markers. And um, I'm, I'm looking at other YouTube videos where they're, they're, they're marking the, uh, the, how they're going to uh, carve off the radius. And you just keep going and going until you have a smoother, smoother, less faceted uh, neck. And then you sand it down from there. I used a Minowax stain and a Minowax wipe-on polyurethane semi-gloss and just buffed it out by hand with wet, wet dry sandpaper. And I went up to 200 grit. Turned out really, really simple finish, really nice, really solid. And then I dro drilled through the, the top of the guitar through the finish to get the uh, the pots and the switch through and the, uh, the jack. I had to be really careful with that. That took a good part of the afternoon just going really tediously slow from one drill bit size to the next so I didn't tear anything. Okay, all that being said, let's see what this thing sounds like. Here goes. Middle, middle pickup, queen tone. <laughs>
tools that I use to accomplish this guitar build, and they're pretty simple. All right, so basically, I cut out I cut out the uh, design with this uh, lovely craftsman saw, just a handheld saw. And you know, you got to be careful. It's it's definitely not as clean as a bandsaw, and you got to come back and do a lot of sanding. I've got this orbital sander to do a lot of things, that, even shaping with it. Your everyday drill, power drill, and then this very inexpensive, very small uh, router. Most of the carving was done with the uh, wood file rasp and this craftsman rasp, which blew up as soon as I started working on my second guitar neck. Very disappointed. I used this saw to fret slot the uh, fretboard. I used this saw to cut out the fretboard from the, to, to match the uh, neck. You need a uh, slotted straight edge to mark where your frets are going to go. If you're doing a straight fretboard, I, I had to use tracing paper and do some crazy stuff to uh, get the uh, the scale for mine. I, I had a seven string legator and I just pretty much copied that over. These are your basic clamps. And then I only had two of these larger clamps to clamp the whole entire block together. So it was crazy. But that's pretty much it. Not counting the, the fretting tools. Or I, I mean, one cutter to cut the frets, this fret file. And um, if you put your frets in good enough, you don't even have to really level and crown them. And I, I didn't have to do that. I just had to do a little bit of spot. Uh, All right, now that you've seen my uh, process for doing this, I will talk about what worked and what didn't. Uh, now, first thing off the bat, I measured everything over and over and over again. I had a whole year to do this and double check things, but I missed one very big aspect. It's not the end of the world for me, but it's kind of annoying. And the width of the base end of uh, the neck wasn't wide enough to accommodate the ninth string all the way. So once it gets to about the 12th fret, it starts going off the fretboard. And by the time it's into the body, it's, it's off the fretboard. So... If you're trying to tap up there or something on the very, very bottom string, it's not going to happen. My uh, first time carving a nut, getting the string spacing right, just knocked it out of the ballpark. i really satisfied with that. Um, since I don't have big saws or anything, I didn't do a skunk joint. This is all one piece going all through the body, the entire board. So I did it more like a fender style. And um, that's gonna be the, the way I'm gonna work. And we're building, we're building guitars with simple tools from scratch and we're carving them by hand. This isn't one of those channels where we do our first build and we have uh, where we're doing a Fender Strat exactly like a Fender Strat with, uh, you know, a hundred thousand dollars worth of tools. That's not happening here. We're not doing that. This is different. So anyway, now turning this the other way around. And, you know. Pretty happy with that, how that came out. This the uh, control plate is just off a, another guitar I borrowed. Um, one thing I will note: my 
side dart markers are not installed yet. I had little pieces of tape on there so I didn't get lost while I was playing. I still have to put the side dart markers on. The, uh, the action is really good. It's really low. Um, the playability is great. The sound is, is, I really like it for, a, for a acoustic stuff. Um, whoops, upside down. I like it for the acoustic sound a lot. The, uh, there's nothing wrong with the sound of the guitar. The pickups are a little weak. They were, they were supposed to be Legator pickups that I picked up online. And, um, they, uh, they're, there's no branding on them. I don't really know what they are and they're not my favorite, but they'll work for now. The bridge parts, uh, are what I could afford and they suck. They're just cheapos. As you can tell, they're not like mounted really low to the, uh, to the plate. They're up a little high and they're going to vibrate and they're shit. But aside from that, uh, if, if you're willing to adjust them every few days, they work just fine. But a tighter bridge would, would be better for, for, you know, tighter picking, better muting. That's where it's getting lost trying to do metal stuff. The, that, that bridge is going to have to be a real bridge. Um, I did a flat fretboard because I didn't want to deal with radiusing something this big in this custom. And other people have done it, so I, I, I'm going for it. I'm liking it. I like playing on it a lot. Um, didn't have to do much preparation for it. It was pretty, pretty level. But since the fret cap is very high, it works with this bridge. If I was to put a, uh, if I was to put a larger bridge on, I mean a, a better bridge on, where the uh, parts are more flush to the uh, to the base of it, I, I might have to make a laminate for it to make the bridge sit up a little higher to match the fretboard. But whatever, it's unique to itself, but it all works. And that's how I dealt with kind of doing this without the conventional means of making a nine string. Well, it was a year's worth of work and a labor of love. And I know that uh, some of you were really probably getting sick of waiting for this video to come out. But it actually did get finished. I really appreciate you all for watching this. Um, spread the word. If you like this video, share it. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm actually going to try to start growing it now. I've decided that I want to build homemade guitars and um, do videos about that and I'm still going to do some uh, review videos but probably just the gear I already own and, and phase that kind of thing out but um, I'll be putting in the description in a week or so an actual uh, demo playthrough on, on some tracking on an original piece of music uh, until then thank you all for watching catch you next time